Hi guys, Steph here. Look at these here. Yes, I've been out pen hunting again. As always, you buy some good stuff, you buy some bad stuff. It all comes part of the hunt. But uh, I know some of you people like to see what I'm actually buying. And I know some of you will like to see the pens that are going to be coming available. I know some of you out there that will actually look at one or two of these and say, Steph, I'd like to reserve that one, please. So, all these mostly will become available. Let's look into them, see what we've got available. So, let's have a look at the box ones first. Yes, it's a Parker. And there we have it. A Parker and look at that right way up and yes there we go even got the um, the original chalk mark Parker custom 51 so there we go this is as you can see by the sort of the flat flat end I believe it's the mark I can't remember, Mark 3, Mark 4, whatever. So a nice Parker 51 with the original um, chalk mark, as we said. Now this box here, um, if we turn it round, um, what does it say? Biro Squire. Nice and simply, there's something special in here. And I'm not going to show you because this pen definitely deserves... A review on its own um, suffice to say it's a rare pen enough to say as well this is the most I've ever paid for a fountain pen I may have paid too much I do not know also I've never had one of these the filling system is quite complicated whether I can actually get it restored, I don't know. Or whether I sell it as is, I don't know yet. But what we'll do, we'll keep you in suspense on that one. <laughs> there we go. We've got a, I think that's a Waterman. Is it, does it say vest or something? So a Waterman vest, does it have a nib? Yeah, it's got a nice little Waterman, Waterman nib there. Um... There we go. Oh, this is a Wyvern pen. Lovely pen. And the nice things about these is they've got this sort of semi-hooded nib. They make great, great everyday writers. So we'll be restoring that one, no doubt. Um, there we go. Quite a modern, a modern Parker. Oh, I don't know what I'll be doing with that, to be quite honest with you. We've got a Swan here. Swan Level. Sorry, Lever pen. Um, bit of brassing to the trim yeah we've got the original nib so again not quite sure what we're going to do with that um, <clears throat> there we go a nice Esther Brook in this sort of burgundy red pink um, I forget what they what they call a pattern <laughs> but a lovely little Esther Brook pen yep yeah, that'll be restored and we'll uh, find a new home for that um, there we go, one of the classics, a nice, doesn't need any introductions, a nice Parker, Parker Dufall with a nib. I think it's an aerometric as it is there, yeah. These pens make great everyday writers, so we'll restore that, clean it, and it'll make somebody a lovely everyday writer. And there we go, there's another one. Okay, so... We've got a couple of nice Parker do folds. We'll actually restore them and we'll make them available to find new homes. Look at this one. I don't know if you can see it. It's actually sort of faceted. It's a lever pen. Some of you, by simply looking at the the clip there, will recognise it and maybe recognise it with the with the clip there. This is a Wahl Eversharp fountain pen. Although it doesn't say it anywhere, there's no there's no barrel in print, um, and the nib, unfortunately, is the wrong nib. It's actually got a Waterman Ideal fountain pen, an absolutely gorgeous pen. Okay, and this lovely sort of 
I don't know, sort of a goldy colour or whatever it is. As I say, it's faceted. Yeah, I'll uh, I'll restore that. I may even keep that pen again. I'm not too sure. Some of you will know that you know a lot of these pens are available to buy. A lot of people will email me. They'll see a specific pen. They'll say, "I'd like to buy that." You know, can I reserve it, etc. Hmm, that wall, I'm not too sure. Um, okay, a nice Parker 65 pen. Lovely nibs. One of my favourite little nibs there. A lovely little pen. Okay, there we go. Does what it says on the tin. A lovely Parker 51. This is a slightly earlier version. Is it a Mark? Oh, I don't know. I forget which marks they are now. <laughs> um, here we go. A nice Swan Calligraph pen. Twist filler. I actually... I've had one of these, well I've had a few of these to be quite honest with you. So again, that'll be restored. Um, there we go, nice little Waterman. I, I can't remember what model it is, I'll show you the imprint, maybe you can read it there. But we've got a Waterman fountain pen, it's got the correct nib. So we'll restore that as well. Um, what's this? Oh, a Parker Slim Fold. Okay, so we've got a Parker Slim Fold. These are also sort of aerometric. We'll clean that up. Um, I think I actually had a customer who asked me quite recently, do you, do you have a Slim Fold available? I have now. And lastly, not in the original case, obviously, but we'll cut out a lovely Conway Stewart. Um, if we can see the imprint somewhere. Again, I can't remember what model it is, so I'm holding it up for you to maybe to read. I can't remember, is it 84? I, I can't remember the model number, but a lovely, lovely colour. This green with gold, gold veins, Conway Stewart nib. So what we'll do, we'll give that a clean up, restore, and somebody will enjoy that for many, many years to come. Um, apart from that, couple of other things. Look at that. Do you know what it is? Hmm. It's a vintage pen wipe. In this brass, this lovely ornate brass. Okay. So there, there's what we term as a pen wipe. Um, I don't collect them, so if there's anybody out there that collects these pen wipes, get in touch. And, uh we'll do something with you okay so a nice little ornate pen wipe and lastly uh, I don't know if we'll be able to show you here um, let's put it back there we go look at that let's show you it says it's got the Schaefer logo it's got Schaefer style for life and it's this sort of kidney shape plastic sort of container and if we just open it up says hey there we go and inside we've got all these little sort of areas it's got this nice felt sort of backing so it's ideal for one two three four five sorry six six pens okay so if anybody buys or is interested in Schaefer ephemera and this particular case again it'll become available so why not email me and that's it ladies and gentlemen that's my pen haul for today as I say I'm sure there's people out there that have seen something today that is of interest you know what to do send me an email and well I hope you've enjoyed looking at the pens as much as I enjoy showing them to you people don't forget leave a comment down below and a lot of you people forget please give the video a thumbs up Okay, so just simply press the thumbs up um, logo and that'll be appreciated. And don't forget, wherever you are, please stay safe. But for now, I'll just say bye-bye for now.